We're gathered here today in the presence of this company to unite Amadio, Amadeo, Nicholas, Andrioni, and Amanda Marie Strickland in marriage. Friends and family, you have been asked here to share in the joy of two people who come to pro profess their love for one another before you and before God. In return, they ask for your support as they start their lives together. You may be seated. <laughs> <laughs> Who offers the hand of this woman to this man in marriage? Audio. Every minute of every day, people meet. They're introduced and they go back to their ordinary lives with little or no effect. Sometimes things are different. People meet and there's the smallest, almost imperceptible spark, a magnetic pull that will continually draw the two together. Sometimes the pull is so strong, it is as if these people were meant to be together before they knew it. It could have been an ordinary beginning if it had not been for her. It could have been just another introduction had it not been for him. Something spectacular has happened. Somewhere in time, all elements aligned and Amadio and Amanda met. And somewhere between how do you do and I do, they knew. There was a moment you knew. Maybe you were talking over dinner, and in the split second it took to take a breath between sentences, you knew. You knew that Amanda was the one for you, the one you wanted to talk to forever. Maybe you were alone, and you saw something, or you heard something, and you realized how much better it would be had Amadio been there. And you knew that he was the one you wanted by your side every day, forever. Why is this day so special? What is it about love that a couple feels the need to profess it in the most public of ways? Why exchange vows before witnesses and God? It is the knowledge that your world has changed, and so have you, because of the love you have received from the one person you were meant to be with, the person meant to be yours, the one you were meant to belong to. It is because you are the answer to each other's prayers, the fulfillment of each other's dreams, and the end to the echo of that little voice that was searching for someone to hear you. Amadio and Amanda have both said they are strong in their belief that God's guidance is essential in their commitment to each other and to their marriage. Amadio's Aunt Paula will now read a passage of script, scripture from God's word. Your commitment will be tested through the years, but you know this. You must learn to lean on your faith and lean on each other. You will, you will persevere because of love. 
Love means you are able to be selfless instead of selfish, to give more than you take, to be slow to anger but quick to forgive, to be strong enough to admit you are wrong, and to say you're sorry, even if you don't always mean it. Let it be known to the other that there is no value you could place on their companionship and comfort because to you it is priceless. Let each other be the first one you run to whether there is something wrong or something right. In a world where everything is constantly changing, work hard to stand firm and be each other's bedrock in the shifting sand. And when that same sand, grain by grain, falls through the hourglass until the bottom is more full than the top, remember when your love was new. Think back to the time when you felt you could do anything so long as you were by each other's side and realized that you did it. Know that as you look at each other some years from now, you made it. You traveled the road through life's challenges, a journey made possible because it was taken with love and the knowledge that neither of you would leave the other behind, but instead be there every step of the way with them, offering a hand, a shoulder to lean on, and never-ending support. As you stand here, know this. Amadio, as sure as the sun rises and sets, Amanda will be there for you. Amanda, as sure as tides are low and they must rise again, Amadio will be there for you. Through the seasons of the years and through your lives, you will be there for each other as a voice of reason, a protector, a champion, a supporter, and best friend. Ladies and gentlemen, with the frenzy of the activity that surrounds a day like today, Amanda and Amadio have made an effort to not lose sight of the purpose for this day. It is important to them that the reason they are here, saying their vows in front of those they love, not get lost in the shuffle. They would like to take a minute to turn and see the faces of the loved ones who have come here to share in their special day. We are gathered here to witness Mario Nicholas Andrioni take Amanda Marie Strickland to be your lawful wedded wife, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, being faithful only to her until death do you part. Do you, Amanda Marie Strickland, take Amadio Nicholas Andrioni to be your lawful wedded husband, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, being faithful only to him until death do you part? The exchanging of rings is a time-honored tradition. The ring is a never-ending circle. It has no beginning and no end like the love Amadio and Amanda have for each other. It is an outward symbol to the world that the heart of the wearer belongs to another. Amadio, will you place the ring on Amanda's finger and repeat after me? With this ring, With this ring I thee wed. I thee wed. It is a token of my love, faith, and loyalty. It's a token of my love, faith, and loyalty. With this ring, with this ring, I give you my heart. Give you my heart. It is the greatest gift I have to give. It's the greatest gift I have to give. Amanda, will you place the ring on, Am on Amadio's finger and repeat after me? With this ring, with this ring, I be wed. I be wed. It is a token of my love, faith, and loyalty. It is a token of with this, ring, With this ring, I give you my heart. It is the greatest gift I have to give. Amadio and Amanda, as you live out your years together, may you look back on your life and remember the love that you felt for one another that brought you here today. Remember the vows that were exchanged here today and the promises that were made. Do whatever is necessary to keep them. And from this day forward, you shall not walk alone. Your hearts will be each other's shelter and your arms each other's home. Now those that God has joined together, let no man put us under. Since you have consented in the presence of this company, I, by the virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of South Carolina, pronounce you man and wife. Amadio, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. 
Amadio Andrioni. Say no! 